One term that a lot of people come across pretty early in networking is the idea of subnet zero. Well, what is subnet zero and how do we avoid it? Well, subnet zero happened, uh, they, they created this whole thing back when they decided to start subnetting addresses. It used to be classful networks, so you'd have a network like 190, let's see, what's on 9? 192.168.0. Um, let's do 16 slash 30. So we've now subnetted this class C network. So remember there's uh, three different parts to an IP address. There is the network portion. In this, in this case, this is a class C, so the network portion is um, the first three octets. Then there's the subnet portion, which is the next six, oct six, six bits. And then there's the host portion, which is the last two bits. It's two, and this one's six. And then we have the rest of it, which is 24. All right. So if we look at this this number right here, well, what is the subnet portion? So let's just look at this last octet, because that's all we really care about, really, this last octet. Well, the last octet we have listed as 16. 16 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right. Now, remember, the first six bits of this right here, first six bits are, up to here, are the subnet portion. And the last two bits are the host. So how many subnets do we have? Well, we have six bits to work with, so we can say, well, there are you know quite a few. Let's see, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, sixty-four possible numbers here. Now the numbers go from all the way from zero, 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 all the way to one, 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 one. So this is the 16, this is the zero, and this one right here would be six ones followed by two zeros, right? Because the subnet address is the very first one in each, each subnet. All right, so that would make it 250, Two. All right. So now we have these different numbers. Well, the people who decided to make up the rules for summoning thought, well, let's let's have this great idea. Let's say that if the subnet portion is either all zeros or all ones, we'll say it's not usable. Kind of like how the all zeros or all ones in the host portion becomes unusable. Let's make it, if it's the all zeros or all ones in the subnet portion, let's make it unusable. So that becomes the zero subnet. Subnet zero is where it's all zeros. The subnet boundaries for this right here are actually, you have zero, four, eight, you know, 12, 16, all the way down to, 252. So in this example, throwing away the first one and the last one isn't that bad, really. It's, you know, they're not that important. But let's look at an example where they are important. So let's clear that. Start again. Let's say we want to divide the 192.168.0. Oh, I don't know, let's say we have a 128. Let's say there's a, we're gonna have this as a slash 25. All right, so let's look at this. 
we're looking at the very last octet. So this would be a subnet, and it's you know 25 means that there's a you know 128 in each one. So it, the numbers would be zero and 128. So that would make good sense. It would be a good, nice, nice number, nice subnet. So the once again, this right here, the first three octets is the network. The next single bit, one bit, is the subnet portion. And the last seven bits is the host portion. All right. So let's look at these last eight bits right here. And that is 128. And so that looks like this. Well, okay, so this first bit is our subnet portion, and the last seven bits are our host portion. So what are the other possible bits? Well, you could have a zero. So this would be a zero with a bunch of zeros after it. it means that this one is um, 128. And this one is zero. Of course, you should probably switch the order. But what you notice about these ones is the subnet portion right here is both all ones and all zeros. So both of these become unusable, which means you cannot use a slash 25 mask um, if you are using a class C network that you're going to divide up. So suddenly this one becomes useless. So what a lot of devices and people have decided to do is just ignore that whole rule about the the uh, subnet zero thing. And so um, you can actually, in some Cisco routers and other devices, you can just have a directive that says IP subnet zero or something like that. And it tells it that we're gonna use these numbers. We don't really care that the specification doesn't like them. We're gonna use them anyway. And we just use them. So this is your subnet zero and what it's all about.